Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, it is Thursday for me today, which is a late check-in. Um, it is some day, one of the days for sure, for you. Um, I thought that because the attic gets so much light in the summer, that in the winter it could only ever be as bad as like the worst of the summer days, I guess, light-wise. I was wrong, <laughs> um, and I didn't really... Not that I didn't expect it, I just didn't think it would get as dark as it can do in here. Um, I've been trying to film a talking segment like all week and I'm really behind in filming anything this week because for the first like three days of the week it was so dark um, and it makes it like impossible to film anything with only an iPhone, <laughs> um, which is all I have to film with. Um, but today there is some light so I wanted to say hi. I don't know if there will be a second talking segment this week just because it's already Thursday. Um, and obviously I don't know how much more I'm gonna have to say to you tomorrow, <laughs> um, so this might be the only one this week, um, but that's probably a good thing because there's not really that much going on this week, I'm just sort of pottering about waiting for things to happen, <laughs> um, so I thought I would show you my cover for my notebook which I got, um, and then also talk to you about the damage <laughs> so that I sustained in this one, um, and also explain, I guess, what I'm waiting for, because basically what happened was I spilled coffee, or like Wednesday, it was Wednesday she spilled coffee, <laughs> I don't want to be a snitch, but the dog spilled the coffee all over the table downstairs while my books were on it, um, so I sustained some coffee damage to everything I own, <laughs> um, including my Hobonichi for 2023, which is literally like a moment of silence for that, because when I tell you that I gasped when I realised and I just stared, like, that is a travesty. Um, I got things relatively cleaned up. The problem I found was the smell. Um, I drink my coffee with milk and honey, um, and the smell afterwards, like I cleaned up okay and you know, like a lot of the pages had damage on the edges, um, but everything dried out, right? I dried everything out with a fan, um, but it was the smell of like sour milk and stuff now. <laughs> um, I don't want to overshare that because it's so gross, but basically things smell. Um, so if you have any tips for that, let me know. But I did end up ordering a new Hobonichi for 2023 just because they start in like a week's time and I actually wanted to start this week which is what I was waiting for um and I don't know if I can cope with one the smell if I can't fix it and two the coffee stained pages for an entire year <laughs> um some of them just have it on the edges like in here but still that's like not a cute way to start the new year and I think it would bother me um so we'll see um this is the cover I got that I showed in my notebook update video um and i haven't really done anything in here yet or like i had until i sustained the coffee spill <laughs> so um it was cuter in here i had done like some cute stuff but then i spilled coffee all over everything so i took it all back out um i'm gonna maybe put this together properly for 2023 with you next week um when my new book arrives um i was planning how to draw out a week in here because the 2023 books start in the end of November so if I'm gonna start a week early I would need to add in a week um so I drew that out and it works I made it kind of messy but it works um I really thought the new notebook would arrive by today I paid for like express shipping and it was stocked in the UK but it hasn't arrived yet um I ordered it at the weekend so I was kind of hoping maybe it will arrive tomorrow and then we can do it together tomorrow but I'm not too hopeful because of all the strikes at the moment in the UK um so nothing is happening in here this week because I spilled coffee all over my planner and I thought I was gonna move and now I'm like well obviously I could just fill out you know the assigned week in my current book but I was so attached to the idea of starting the new one that I'm like the pingu meme where it's like well now I'm just not doing it <laughs> so um I haven't done this week in my Hobonichi because I thought I'd be changing book and I was really excited um i'm so sick of looking at this blue i'll tell you that i will say i ordered a different color hobonichi than the bunnies one i changed my mind um not for any particular reason i just thought like well this is an opportunity i just realized this has coffee on the back 
I have no idea. So this is what happened to my bunnies one, except that a lot more of it was stained like that. So this dark color of the coffee comes like all the way up the back and stuff. And then a lot of the pages are flooded on the edges. The inside of the pages themselves are okay, but it's a lot of like the edge and the bottom is flooded um, and it stinks. <laughs> so um, yeah. I, I do feel a bit wasteful about it, but I know that it will only bother me more and more, I think, as time goes on. Um, I try not to be a perfectionist, but I think the idea of having to face a brand new year with a coffee-stained smelly planner is like a whole other level. Um, yeah. So, things happened. There's not a lot in here, it's just some pictures I cut out, I'll show you next week because I have an idea to decorate my new planner. I chose the champagne gold one, um, a bit of an impulse, but I thought that the colour was really pretty and it would be really nice to start the winter with such like a warm planner. Um, it, it looks kind of like lamplight, like it's, it's so soft, so we'll see how I feel about that when it comes. Um, I'm gonna make some charms for this, I ordered some charms. Uh... So I'm gonna make some some little charms, some little guys to go on my traveler's band and I'll do that with you in a video. Um, either in the attic archives or maybe I'll make a separate like setting up my planner video where I do it in, but I will do that. My dad alleges that he has some pliers I can use, so hopefully that's true and he can find them. <laughs> um, I just realized I never lit the candle, so just pretend it's cute. This is a mess. I'll show you in here quickly. There's not a lot else to talk about this week, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll show you what happened in here. Um, I, I, I paper clipped the pages. I'm really taking a pretending it didn't happen approach because I, I don't feel ready to deal with it. <laughs> um, I'm glad that I made my notebook update video last week and managed to immortalize these early pages before I destroyed them because... I was really happy with them, um, and now, you know, they're still fine. I actually didn't lose a lot of the text. Some of it got a bit smudgy, but it's not actually lost. You can still read it. So I just dried it out and then closed off that half of the book. <laughs> um, and I'm just carrying on on top of the coffee stains and the rest of the pages. Um, it's not really the end of the world, as you can see, but it is sad. Um, so there's that. Yeah, so not terrible, but not great. Um, the nice thing is the Field Notes books are only 48 pages long and I'm already or almost halfway through. So I'll just try and finish it quickly and then I can start a new one. Um, obviously not the case with a full year in a Hobonichi. <laughs> um, but that's what happened. That's honestly, tragically, the most eventful thing to happen this week, apart from shopping for some Christmas decorations. Um, I have a really small Christmas tree that I had while I was at my mum's and I went to collect it recently um, but I couldn't find the decorations that I had and that's why I wanted to get some little decorations um, so I'll include that in the videos in December I guess I'm going to try and put it on my desk and it'll be kind of nice I guess I'm not really a massive Christmas person um, the sad thing about growing up undiagnosed is that Christmas can be one of the most traumatic times of year <laughs> um, laughing because it's not funny <laughs> um and that was definitely the case for me growing up christmas was really awful for me for so many reasons i won't get into it it's you know past now um but it's weird as an adult trying to reclaim these little bits of like my hurt childhood for myself i guess um in so many different ways so i'm trying to like christmas because before this i didn't really um, the nice thing I will say, I like all the seasons because, uh, like, I can go from jack-o'-lanterns to, like, a nice warm glowy tree thing that I can decorate with shiny stuff, and I like that. Um, so it's just a big cute lamp you get to have for an entire month, and I will never ever say no to that, so. <laughs> um, that's all this week, I think. I'm not gonna talk too much, hopefully there's actually something to watch this week. <laughs> Um, I hope it hasn't been too boring. It's been such a strange time with the light and also trashing my notebooks um, and just not a lot going on really in this like transitory period. So I um, hope you are enjoying the video though. I hope you're having a better week than me <laughs> um, and I will speak to you soon.
So I've been waiting in like all afternoon, I guess, for my new Hobonichi to maybe hopefully show up, um, but it hasn't. I don't think it's going to come today. There are a lot of like mail delays in the UK at the moment, um, which is fine, <laughs> but you know, I'm feeling a little impatient about it. Um, I guess in the way that everyone does when it's a new planner. Um, hopefully it will come next week and then we can do some cool stuff with it next week. Um, but it didn't come today, tragically. Um, I did yesterday finish A Dowry of Blood and it was so, so good. Um, as I mentioned in one of the captions, it only took me so long because I got distracted reading Interview with a Vampire fanfiction for three weeks. <laughs> um, it was so good. I really loved it. Um, I don't think I've ever read prose like that, like I was really swept up really fast and then when I was reading it I found it really hard to put it down, like it just keeps sweeping you along. Um, and I just don't think I've ever, I've ever been so like taken in by like a story I guess, like I don't know how to talk about it, I sound really silly but it was really good, I really recommend it. Um, but in the front there is a page of trigger warnings and make sure that you check those out if you are going to read it because at the end of the day it is a book about abuse and manipulation, <laughs> so, um, but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think next I'm gonna read The High Mountain Court. I saw this in Waterstones the other day, and it's a really nice copy with the hardback cover, which I think is all it has in the UK at the moment, but I saw this in the new hardback section in the, like, fantasy sci-fi bit, um, and it looks and sounds quite good, so I think I'm going to start this over the weekend and see how I get on with it. It has a second book, which is quite exciting, and there was the second book was there as well, so I can always go back for that if I make really good progress. Um, aside from that, there's not a lot happening. It's really dark today again, um, and all I did this week was shop for Christmas decorations, so that might be my villain origin story, is that it's dark and I might start liking Christmas. This this is my foundation for villainy. Um, I find this year kind of hard because I, I miss Halloween. <laughs> um, like, spooky stuff is my special interest, so during October there's such an abundance of it, and even like July through September, things start appearing and then obviously they're gone. And I find that quite sad. Um, Halloween this year was a bit weird too, just because we had some stuff going on at home. Um, so I feel a bit like unresolved, if you will. Um, and I hate the transition between October and December. It's November, I hate November. <laughs> um, I like it seasonally, but I, I always wish that I could just take down Halloween stuff and put Christmas stuff up. But it's a, it's a bit intense. Um, I know some people do that. Disneyland does that. Um, but for me, it just feels probably a bit intense. Um, but I like jumping from one season to another, I guess, so that I have something else to look forward to. Instead, November is almost quite liminal, like you're just waiting around for things to happen. Um, and I am waiting around for my planner to turn up and the sun to come out. So, um, yeah, weird week, always a weird week. Um, but I don't want to force myself to do stuff to like create content. I don't ever want to be manufacturing things in that way, if that makes sense. So I hope you don't mind that it was a strange week. I hope you didn't mind too much that I was shopping for Christmas decorations for so much of it. Um, it's nice for me to go this time of year, like in, in the middle of November, because everything is out and it's not busy yet because no one's panicking yet. Um, it's really hard to go in December when the shops are so busy and people are so angry <laughs> because they're like running late on stuff or they're impatient or I don't know. Um, anyway, that's all my Christmas decoration shopping done. So that's a relief for all of us. Um, and I'll decorate with you guys like in December, I guess. Um, other than that, I just wanted to give the video some kind of ending since I feel like so little actually happened. Um, maybe it's not so bad because you guys haven't been editing it all week like I have, <laughs> but for me, this week's video feels a bit, a bit weird. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it, I hope you did, um, and hopefully my notebook will come next week and then we can do more normal stuff if the sun is out. Um, otherwise, that's it, I'm gonna read this this weekend, I'm gonna try and finish this book this weekend because the coffee is starting to do my head in. Um, and I will see you guys soon.